Okay guys, yes, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing the make it fly tutorial. So this is like quite an interesting tutorial. I've done a similar tutorial before. I created like a game from the, on the Scratch 2.0 tutorial system. I presume this is similar, but we'll see now. Okay, so first I'll start to choose a backdrop. We're just going to go here and go for the normal blue sky. Okay. Then we can choose the character. So we have the sprite, the default sprite, but we can delete that and we can do another one. So I think it would be under animals actually. Yeah, cat flying. Okay. So now, yeah, this is like quite similar to how I remember it being before Scratch 3.0. So yeah, so then now it says time to fly. I probably linked the project that I created on this uh, tutorial in my at the bottom of the video, so you guys can go check it out as well. Okay, so time to fly. Okay, wait, right. So first, okay. So when right arrow or so with these events. Um. So when we right or left arrow. Okay, so this goes forward and backwards. So we're going to change the X position on the graph. Right arrow is positive and left arrow is negative. It's negative T. Okay, so now if we click the right or left arrow, it changes. Okay, just clean up the blocks. Okay, and now we can add another object. Here they choose the heart. You can make anything, uh, I don't know, it's just take a normal ball okay okay and so we're gonna make it move every time like forever okay go to random position okay Wait, why am I under sensing <laughs> I want to go to motion okay so it just goes to random position changes X by 250. I think you can just like set X to 240. So let's just set X to this uh, number, set X to 240, and then we repeat 32 times, change X by 15. So from here to get to there, it's like 50 times 32, which is I think like 480 or something like that. Okay, so and then change x by minus 15 because it's going to move from left from the right to the left. Yeah, we're not set change here. We want change x. Okay, yeah, it's quite fast, but I guess this is going to be a kind of fast paced game. So now we can go back to the Flying character is to stop that. Okay, and now I'm gonna add a score. So we can just take the current variable there and just rename it score. Come spell score. Okay, and we can make it show. Wait, does it say anything else? Okay, I'm gonna make it like the large readout. So you can like see your score, okay. And we can use the same thing, but it won't start immediately because we'll first say that and then start. So let's just use a different event, okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna use the variables set score to zero, then forever. If touching the sprite, so in this case, we're using a ball. So if touching a ball, change score by one. And then it waits one sec. Okay. So now if we click here, every time, okay, well now we can't really move up and down. Ah, uh, wait, did we miss that? As far as I know, they only said we must move 
left and right. But I presume we should also go and make it so we have to move up and down. Let's quickly do that before we do that. Okay. Let's just quickly say up arrow and down arrow. Okay, so with the up arrow let's change y by 10 with the down arrow let's change y by minus 10 and what we could do is then let's turn to cat flying b switch to costume cat flying b and here we must switch to costume cat flying a okay and when flying Right, so with this flying B with the up arrow and this one's the down it's supposed to be down arrow. Okay with down arrow we want to be cat flying so we can make cat flying C Okay but now it's like upside down <laughs> uh how how we will we we're just gonna select this I think if we hold control, no. If you hold shift, yes. If you hold shift, then it change, keeps to like the 45 degree thing. So let's just make sure this is 45 degree. Yeah, I think that should be fine. So there we have it. Okay. And then let's can switch to cat flying C. Okay, so now if we go up and down and left and right, but we can't go up and down at the same time. We have to go one at a time. Okay. Okay, so clouds. Now we can add a new sprite for clouds. Um, I don't know where clouds would be under in these categories. I don't think it's it's just like search. I mean it's at C, so C isn't too far. Here's clouds. Okay. Okay. And then we can have when clicked forever. I guess we want to like at a certain height and it's just constantly going to repeat this motion so it's just going to be like a cloud just going about in the sky air so this is like just background stuff you don't really need this so I actually want this and this to be in front of the clouds okay um go to x250 Let's set x to 250. 250 and then repeat 100 times, change x by 5. By minus 5. Yeah, so if we basically just do that, it's just going to constantly be slowly going across the sky. Okay? Then, wait, this is for the cloud, uh, okay. It'll be time then, it's just going to switch to the next costume. So when it comes, it might be a different costume. When it comes again, it'll be a different costume. I'll just keep switching to the next costume. So that's it. Oh, okay, so it's not the same as like the previous one. It's like the previous one also had like buildings and stuff. Okay, so if we make this so we can go fly up and down, we can go we can fly backwards and everything. And then we was constantly trying to get this the ball. The ball is quite small, so it's hard to, harder to get. Okay. Okay, then what there was also we had like buildings. 
so I'm not sure I, I think we'll just have to go it should be here yeah this one so we just had like buildings going from that y position we can copy basically this to the buildings one Okay, except for that it doesn't go to a random position and it switches to next costume okay okay but now you see the ball and the buildings go at the same speed so let's say the buildings go slower so the ball comes in very fast it's just going at a different speed so what you can do you can have I don't want it to be the same speed as the clouds though but yeah, so make it minus 10. Okay, and then repeat 50 times. Yeah. So then you constantly have to get the ball. Okay. So the movement isn't so like smooth here but then you just have to constantly get the ball in these, these buildings not also added then like was that you had to jump over the buildings and if you went into the buildings then you got you can get hurt but if you're like right above the building and then you like hit with the hammer and the building would break or something so i can i'll link the project in the link below in the description below so see you guys in my next video remember to subscribe and hit that like button goodbye